I'm with the Central California Environmental Justice Network, and we're based out of the Central Valley uh, with two organizers. We've collaborated and networked with a large uh, array of folks, you know, from the local, regional, uh, Kern County area to the national platform. Uh, we have uh, accomplished a lot. Uh, it's a, a pretty uphill battle. Uh, where we come from, the region is uh, very pro-industry. The two main industries that uh, are prominent there is oil and gas industry and agriculture, so chemicals, pesticides. Um, a lot of the stuff that we have done uh, on some issues around pesticide is buffer zones uh, around schools and daycares uh, of a quarter mile. Uh, before that, there was no state uh, um, buffer zone. Uh, on oil and gas, we have done some stuff uh, pretty successful around air monitoring and, and uh, have used earthworks, have partnered up with Earthworks to do like enforcement tours. So we'll go to uh, various oil and gas sites that have been identified from the community um, and have uh, levied uh, violations against oil and gas operators because of the technology. Corporations have a stronghold on the political system, so therefore they are able to create loopholes uh, to poison residents, you know, uh, literally poison residents. And so if Governor Brown was here in front of me, this so-called green father, right, that this, he has been quoted for, um, I think two things, right? So it would, he would need to ban fracking and stop this cap and trade deal, right? It should be cap and tax or just not do it at all, right?